boys you guys have been farming these videos thank you i appreciate it man this time we got to play kiv final 16 180 thousand dollars i never beat kiv in fact every time i've played him in a big game i've got blowed out so let's buckle up All right, boys, now I, I am a great Madden player, and there's few players that I look at and say, you know, this guy is, like, elite. It's hard for someone you're really good at something to tip your cap to somebody else, man. Uh, but Kiv is one of those guys. Uh, he is a different class of Madden player. He really is, man. So I've always had the utmost respect for him, always tried to watch him and learn some things, always one of the best passers ever, if not, you know, top two or three passers of all time of the football so we got our work cut out for us man i played him in madden 18 live event the madden challenge got blowed out played him in a vegas invitational uh got blowed out played him last year single elimination like round you know round four or five in a tournament and got blowed out so <sighs> things we gotta buckle up boys uh but like i said i like a lot of these videos it's gonna be a tough challenge so make sure you guys hit the like subscribe we're closing in on 40,000 youtube subscribers also, you guys want to play? watch me play every single night, that Twitch link is below. But let's talk about this because I'm going to get real nerdy, boys. Because you guys have been loving the insight. But I'm going to tell you, this is what I live for in Madden. Uh, the games were over. Like, I had a whole day to prepare for Kiv and figure out what my plan was going to be on defense versus Bunch. Uh, probably the second best Bunch player ever behind Skimbo, who I play with a lot. So, well, I was able to prepare well. Now... Now, let me come here. I'm going to go to practice mode here because I'm going to show you guys exactly what my plan was. Now, Kiv is going to run the bunch, bunch, right? This is the shotgun bunch, Pittsburgh Steelers. Man, if you guys go to Madden Turf right now, Skimbo got an ebook on this right now. You guys can check it out. If you have Madden Turf Premium membership, you get my ebooks, you get Skimbo's ebooks, you get Clefs, you get CC's, Vols, everybody, you get all the ebooks with that premium membership. So make sure you guys do that. Those links are below. But anyway, bunch, right? It's going to be bunch, and I'm going to run the 335 or the 33. I don't know why it's called 33 this year, but it's called 33. Uh, the 335 loop, man coverage. I'm going to go man coverage for the most part, but. Like every Madden, man coverage is starting to fade out because people are getting really good at stopping it. They're getting really good at, you know, different combos, different man beaters, one play touchdowns. Now, when you go to play the bunch, you got to have a plan. You got to know what's going to beat you. Now, there is a one play touchdown out of bunch right here. Out of this bunch, there's a one play. If you press, you'll give up a touchdown. Uh, so for me, I got to worry about that. I got to worry about corner routes. And these are kind of the abilities that I had, and I'm going to go over them with you guys at the line. So this is going to be my look pretty much every play against Kiv. We're going to pinch these guys. And this is the man coverage that we got. This is what we're going to do. Maybe press like this. Shade up. So we're not going to press. That way we don't get beat on the press, anything like that. We just, you know, kind of concede the short. We're not going to try to get physical with the wide receivers. Unless we get to a third and long or a fourth and short, something like that, we might switch that up. But... Ability wise, what I have is inside shade on the slot. If you guys pay attention, with Legereus Sneed and medium knockout, so he'll be close enough to knock out corner routes, knock out uh, crossing routes, anything like that. I also have medium knockout on one of my one of my outside corners as well, uh, just man coverage, knock the ball out. But the one thing I wanted to keep versus Kiv was two short knockouts on the safeties. Not a lot of people had that, but the reason I wanted two short knockouts on the safeties is because Kiv will flip his bunch. And when he's on the tight end, I want to be able to knock out a drag. I want to be able to knock out a flat route. I don't want you to be able to throw the ball short to par him and stiff arm and truck and anything like that. So my plan was to have two short knockouts on the safeties, even though a lot of times the safety will be guarding the running back or in a deep blue. But... If you guys notice like this, if he does something like the way like a lot of good bunch players will do, he'll flip this right here, right? He'll flip this play. Now he's got now the other safety has to guard the tight end. So I use two short knockouts on my safeties. That way if he flipped, I would always have a short knockout on the tight end. And Parham wasn't going to kill me on flat routes, slants and drags, because I had Ron I know I had Ronnie Lott, I believe, and Carlton Davis as safety for the knockout capabilities for 2AP. So that was kind of my plan. Um, if going into this, you guys know, I love putting a third on the bunch side, right? 
But Kiv, you'll see the game. He's smart enough to motion this guy out to make sure that the the streak will clear out third. So that's not always going to be the best idea versus Kiv. And on top of that, the other thing that's in the game now, uh, if you guys have been paying attention to, has been this C route, the Deep Apprentice C route. Now I know I'm getting a little nerdy, but I hope you guys are. I hope you guys are keeping up right now. If not, you can rewind and re-listen to this. So not only do I have to worry about a corner route in man covers, but now I have to worry about this C route that only deep outside apprentices get. It's the corner route out of outside apprentice, the extra hot routes, right? So I don't really have it here, but we're just going to mimic it with a little baby out route. So imagine that's the C route. Now you cannot, you cannot play man covers on this. You'll give up a one play touchdown. So against these guys, I'm going to go ahead and, and put a third when Andre Reed is the outside receiver. I got to pay attention to this when he flips, when he doesn't flip. Where's Andre Reed? Where does he move him? Where does he put him? Because Andre Reed is the only one of his three wide receivers that can get this route. So when Andre Reed is the solo side receiver, he has to be in a deep blue. Otherwise, I may be liable to give up a touchdown, and I don't want to give that up, especially to a good player. You got to make them work. All right? So this is going to be kind of my base defense here. I'm going to put a hard flat. We'll put cover three on this side for the most part and if he doesn't motion out i'm pretty much going to be cover three right here short knockout on the tight end for flat routes and drags and we'll have that inside shade with medium knockout on the slot so this is pretty much my plan right now if you watch that left receiver here's another tidbit watch that left receiver he's just that's a deep blue and i, I don't know who is it mitch trubisky the steelers quarterback now he didn't press him but what i'm going to do right is we're going to come in here and we're going to put our coaching adjustments and we're going to go down here and we're going to put on match match on right this was the plan this was my plan all along the whole time and i will call corner strike right here same thing deep third right there but this time matches on and what the, what we want is him to press that guy on the outside see that press because the match is on now and we wanted to try to get him to think it's man coverage and maybe throw an interception trying to force that route. So that was the plan. Two short knockouts, inside shade, medium knockout on the slot, one extra knockout, and making sure I don't get beat by that C route. So that's what we went with. That was the plan. Let's see how it works out, boys. Like I said, we're playing Kiv right now, so got to bring our best. And here we are. Boom. Boom. Started the game. I'm checking his abilities out. You know, you got to do this, man. You got to make sure who has a, who has that outside apprentice so you're able to run over there and you're able to, you know, remember where our boy uh, Andre Reed was. Because Andre Reed, I believe, was the guy that he had outside apprentice on, boys. So that's what I'm looking at, Aaron Rodgers. So I realized Andre Reed has that outside apprentice. Like I said, the same thing. We got Ronnie Lott. We're going to run Ronnie Lott and Carlton Davis. I believe it's safety here. That was our plan. See, he's short side now. Andre Reed is on the solo side. So I'm going to deep blue that side. If, I, I don't know if I show my play art. Yeah, exactly. The same thing I just showed you. And we have everything covered beautifully. Knockout. And for some reason, we don't get a medium knockout there. Disappointed. And he went for it the first play. The first play... He goes, for, he goes for the C route, if you guys watch. And, and honestly, I, I, I guess this became, I guess medium knockout stops at 20 yards, but we get a good press on him right there, and maybe that's one yard further than medium knockout, but ugh, tough. I want Sneed to play that and knock that out. That's why I got it. Same thing, we got flat route over there. We have a hard flat on Cam Chancellor. Tackles Bettis there for a short gain. Now he motions. Good defense here. I want another medium knockout. Oh my gosh! Oh, man, we that out. What's the I don't. Point? Hayes is the medium. Not, that's there. that's two medium knockouts. I wish I could have got, especially that one. I know that wasn't a deep knockout. So we're uh, a little. Good defense, man. We gotta knock that yeah, out. that's good defense. I'm happy with that. But he's in field goal range already. Two plays, already in field goal range. Now he flips here. Andre Reed is the solo guy. I gotta put that guy in the deep blue. Half the attention to detail. Almost everybody's in a deep blue. We're straight cover three here. Three-man rush. Oh, he ran a little corner strike there. Actually had him, but got a little pressure, threw the ball away. 
You know, feeling good. See, that's what I mean. Kiv will motion this guy out here. And Sneed gets whooped on that play. The one thing about... if and this is like super nerdy. If you guys watch this play. Watch my slot corner. Legere Sneed is manned up. But when he motions out, look where Legere Sneed goes. Inside three steps. Right? So now he has inside leverage on Moss. Which is great until he runs a corner out. And he gets left a little bit. So... After all this attention to detail we have to do on deep blues, hard flats, shade this way, shade that. Now I have to worry about when he motions out, I got to back him, back that guy up individually. So a lot going on. People that say man coverage, you put the controller down, it's easy. It's really tough. And right here he audibles the tight. And what I'm going to do, just like everybody else, everybody just cover three. Cover three, the thing when they audible the tight, he won't have enough time to motion anybody out. Just runs two crossers, nothing doing, and we get some pressure there. So it's definitely a lot going on in the man coverage field here, boys. A lot. And right here, we're going to run just... We got a reman here for the wheel route. I did. Good job remanning. Back up, everybody. I'm a little bit afraid. Don't want to get hit with anything crazy. Good defense right here. You need a shed. Need a shed. We get it. We get the third down. So once again, he audibles the tight. Tight doubles. And we just run a little cover three. Three-man rush. And everybody's a little bagged right here. He's going to throw the ball away. going to settle for three. That's cool. I am completely... I, I could have got some knockouts. I could have made some better plays. Two knockouts on those big passes. But really three big passes. I got to worry about backing up that guy when he motions over. So definitely a lot involved. He's in the 3-3-5 as well. One of the reasons I chose running New Orleans tight over Tampa Bay tight. 0-1 trap inside zone. You know, they are... Owen Trap is good against this defense, you know, and you see we get big holes right there. Now, I want you guys to pay attention to my running backs. You guys know running backs, tight ends are beasts in this game. I feel like my running backs really didn't do much after the fact, you know. I feel like I didn't fight. They didn't really get nothing done. But I feel like we're getting decent yardage here. Like, we're doing, look at, the, like, that's good. We're getting hitch sticks right away by Legereus Sneed. I have Derrick Henry on the bench. We're going to mix it around, man. Good cut, good vision right there. Let's try to get yards with Derrick Henry. Now, I'll tell you, you guys know I cry about the run. This is like a $10,000, $15,000 game of Madden. You know, if, I don't want to pass. This is one of the best players ever. I don't want to pass. I want easy yards. And now you see him take his safety all the way down in the box. Okay, he's worried about the run now. And he stops it pretty well right there. Right? Now it might be time to pass. Big boy time to pass. He gets a great on, shed man, right there. The fucking and what he does right here is he drops the D lineman. You know, a lot of times people run the loop, but he actually drops D lineman out, and he still gets the loop. And we try to hit this corner oh, out, man, and, man. and we miss it. Right there, I have threat detector. Now, this is another note. Threat detector on the new center is 2 AP. Had 2 AP left over. This is a great ability because I know all three of these guys are blitzing. Uh, does it make my life easy? Does it make it tough right here? I, it, it's pretty... I don't know if it makes it easier. It's almost like a little Omaha where you can see who's blitzing. So we'll see what happens here. He blitzes everybody. Once again, drops out linemen. And we're able to make a great read over the middle of Justin Jefferson. <clears throat> First down. Now, this is a great play call I make right here because I've run the ball four or five times already. Right? First down. I just get a big third down. He's got to be playing run defense. Right? He's got to bring this guy down in the box with his safety again. Boom. I get him with a little quick snap. Touchdown, Daddy! Justin Jefferson. Daddy! Gritty! Good play call, W. Come on. So, just, just a great call where, obviously, I'm playing conservative that drive. Run, 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 run. I get a big third down stop. Get to a first down. Should He's thinking run all the way, and I hit him with the post. Doesn't really adjust for the pass. Listen, it's way easier to pass on rundowns. And sometimes it's easier to run on pass downs, you know, just a little mix up right there. So I'm dialed right now. I feel great. Defense is cooking. So here we go. Andre Reed is on the bunch side, but I still third that uh, solo side. Flips, got a reset, got a third to solo side, got a cover three to right side, and I get it off in time. Good job. Knockout. Knockout. There it is. Perfect. Perfect. That's why we had the Perfect. two safeties for when he flips. Perfect. Always have a knockout on the tight end. Nothing doing. Incomplete pass. Second and 10 here. Same thing. He motions out. We're actually going to put a cloud over there to try to stop the corner route because the corner route's killing me. And I'm going to man up Ronnie Lott on the left receiver here. 
Oh, got ta tackle. Oh, good hit right there. Nice. There's a lot going on right there. I think I uh, I had to guard deep, I believe, and uh, gave up the in route to the tight end right there. So I don't want to see too much. Uh, I don't want to say too much of Justin, but we're cool. Third and one. He mixes in a quick hike. Snap. Knockout. 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 Exactly. Exactly. Exactly how we drew it up. Come on. Fourth and one. So everything's working perfectly exactly here. Fourth and one. We see Carlton Davis at safety with that short knockout. Fourth and one here. Not going to be cute on defense here, man. I'm really not. We're just going to send them. Andre Reed is not on the solo side. So I'm really not. And I backed that guy up. Remember? Remember that corner route beat me when he motioned out. I user backed up Legereus Sneed to guard the corner route right there. I'm just rushing five here, boys. Perfect. Hell no, knockout. Let's go. That's how we drew it up. That's how we drew it up, man. Exactly how we drew it up. So that was that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Exactly Rem how we drew it up, man. Remember to back that guy up when he motioned out to guard the corner route, and we get the medium knockout. We get two short knockouts that drive and a medium knockout. Abilities, man. Use your abilities right, and they worked perfectly on that drive. My plan was... It was great. It was executed great right there. So I love that. I love that about Madden. That's why we play. That's why I love this game. Here, listen, we're going to run the ball. We're going to try. If he's going to give me any types of yardage, I'm going to be happy about it for sure. Keep running. And now he switches his defense to a little dollar. Maybe two man under. Cover one robber, maybe. He blows it up there. So his dollar run defense is really, really good as we lose five yards on that play. We'll come back here. Second and 15. Let's see what I draw up here. I think I'm, yeah, I think I'm a little, I ain't really like it. I'm getting a nice gain there. He gets a good shed. I thought that could have been a bigger gain as we get to a third and eight here. You know, I am, uh, I want to say aggressive here, but I want a touchdown. And this is what's crazy about this play is that threat detector What's good about it is I know what play he comes out in instantly, right? So I know this slot is blitzing. For me, that's a sign of cover three in dollar. When the cover three is blitzing that one corner. So he's in straight cover three, I believe. That's what my read is. You know? So that's why I streak Devontae Adams on the left to get this corner out to Randy Moss. That's what I want. He's only rushing three because he's blitzing his user, I, you know, and then it tells you who's who, what user they're on for the most part. I got Moss one on one. I like it. I like it. Now, I go up top, high ball, and we no get to pick. No fucking way! Oh, there's just no chance. Just tough. We see so many ags oh in this game, God, and we dude. don't get we don't get an ag rate. We don't get a good animation. And in hindsight, I, I should have went with the Y out corner route, the little sharper corner route to get a better animation right there. So that definitely hurt right there. And here, once again, he went to tight. We just go to cover three for the oh most part. God. So wish I would have that three in hindsight, so it'd be 10 to three. But we're, I still love our plan on defense. I love the way we're playing offense. We're making some good calls. So just stay at it. We get the ball at half. We got to keep him out of the end zone here. Beautiful oh, defense. Man, man. Just on, everybody's so covered. Everybody's strapped. We get to a third and ten here. He's definitely looking for the corner route. Do I back that guy up again? I actually put a cloud here. Oh, that was a good play. See, that was tough about this one was he didn't block anybody, and I have the tight end responsibility. See, there's nobody on the tight end. So I have Parham. I do. That's my guy. So if you see him take off deep, then I got to get him. See? So I can't guard the running back there. So good play, good draw up. That's Kiv going to find little dots. He's going to make plays. That was a good play, and I got to keep a man on the tight end. Once again, he flips. I got to reset. Andre Reed is on the right, deep third. There it is, man. I got my cover three set already. Is he going to motion out left to right? No motion. Everybody's been, oh, man. That's tough. One thing that happens is a lot of times I'll hard flat and then I'll shade up to and turn it to a cloud. If I tear down to a hard flat, that's a that's a throwaway. But he gets a little completion there to Jerome Bettis. Man, we're closer in a two-minute warning here. 
Once again, he's going up top. He's trying to go up top again, and we get a hit on the quarterback. So, I mean, we're feeling really good on defense right here. We might just go. We're just blitzing four again. Same setup. Now he motions. When he does this, he likes to slant and a crosser here. And he gets it right there. Nice. Ooh. Ah, hands. Come on, man. That's a good route. That's a good route. Respect. That was a good play. But now I got to remember when he motions over, I got to go with a, with a yellow zone in the middle instead of that hard flat, I think. He motions over again. Same setup, really. And that time I did a good lurk, went back down to the drag. And Haynes did a better job on that crossing route to where even if he threw it, he knocked it out. Motion out. This is going to be a corner route. I back up Sneed again. Can he guard it, actually, this time? And this time he gets swooped. Come on, Sneed. That's my inside shade, man. I want that guy to play. I pay him a lot of AP, and that's kind of like... The toughest thing, the toughest thing to stop right now is those corner routes when they motion out and get rid of my third. Here, he's going to try to use a little clock right here with a little run. Once again, he's going to milk all this. I have all three timeouts. I, I really want to hold him to three here, so I'm not going to. This is a great dot and cheat him. Oh, yeah. I would have loved the pick right there. I would have loved the pick. Would have loved the pick. Cheat him even worse, but that was a good play that he calls right there. Moss is glowing, so I got to worry about that a little bit. Motion's out. I got a reman for the wheel route. I do that. Two hard flats. Uh, I'm loving this defense right now. And we get a hit. Ooh. We hold him three right here. So, halftime. Seven to six. I get the ball. And that's not halftime yet. I still have three timeouts. So, I'm going to try to be a little bit aggressive here. We'll see. Uh, like I said, I get the ball at half. He sends a little blitz right here. Dump it off the Moss. Good job getting upfield. Getting 10 yards. Call my timeout. Get back to the line. Uh, he's back in a three-three-five, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to try to go to my best plays against this now. Still have two timeouts, 33-yard line. I'm gonna motion out now instead of that bench corner route. I'm gonna go wide out. This is a way better corner route against man and everything. Good dot over here to par him. Pick up nine, ten yards. Timeout. I, that that route's been open a lot for me lately. I gotta start looking for that a little bit more. 44-yard line. We need like 20 yards right here to get a, a realistic field goal chance. Now, here we're looking for Parham for sure over or on the right side of the field. We got a backside slant coming. He rushes three people, two people. I step up. Beautiful playmaker. A free form to the left in the field goal range. Beautiful. Beautiful play. Beautiful. He just gave me too much time to be able to sit back there. We're not going to get greedy. We're going to call our timeout. We're going to kick our three. We're up 10 to 6. And we're getting the ball. Loving it right now. Mix the run back in second half. I mean, I'm feeling great. I mean, we're holding Kid to six points. Our defense is super working. Uh, our plan is nice. Keep running the ball. Keep pounding things. You know, big things. Yeah, I want, some, I want my running backs to fight a little bit more, huh? That's tough. What happened here? Second and eight. I see I got the corner route to Parham for sure. And Lawrence Taylor disengages right here. You see? 74 is doing nothing right here. And we would have had corner route to Parham. Easy first down. But we get hit. Third and eight here. Looks like he's sending the dogs right here. He is. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and try to hit a slant. We're going to try to hit a corner route. Something. <clears throat> it's motion out. Yeah, he's sending everybody right here. And we dog, get hit. Tough. Running right at me, dog. Fourth and eight. I'm going to punt. You know, I he has six points. I'm not going to just donate him anything. Good oh, defense. He got two pressures on me and two passing downs. I'll live with it. Now, I'll tell you, I have to punt the ball better. This is, this is inexcusable. If I'm going to punt from my 40-yard line, it has to be out of bounds. It has to be at the 10-yard line out of bounds. We punt it inbounds, and he hits a nice juke, and... When you have a theme team, you have sh just terrible players on special teams. Now, I should have subbed them out. I should have did a better job. This is just attention to detail. You can sub out on the punt, but not on kickoff. So, I should have subbed out and not have Mo Rig and just terrible players in here. Mike, oh, Mike oh. Hyde's not that bad. Oh, Perriman. So, we get he gets a huge return. God damn it, man. At that point, I only gained eight yards on the punt. So, just all three phases, man. That's a big deal. So, as great as we're playing, we're definitely that definitely hurt. As he motioned the tight end over here. So he's mixing up his dots a little bit. And we really have a great 
Now, now, now I, this is what I realize is that he's getting hip to my cover three. So he wants to put a streak over here to run off that cover three to hit the C route. So he puts a streak. So he's looking to hit that C route on a streak. So I'm starting to realize that he's getting hip to that. Or he's he knows what I'm doing to stop the C route here. All right, here we go. We got the same thing. He's going to motion out, look for the corner route. So for me, I started mixing in a cloud on that outside corner and cross man with the top left safety, who is Ronnie Lott right here, boys. And for some reason, somehow, Ronnie Lott just gets whooped. There's just no way, Ronnie, that you got beat like like i don't know if he gets bumped or he like right here like look where ronnie lot is like now ronnie has i'm on a, i'm on a raiders theme team so ronnie has 87 speed uh tough good throw you know ronnie just sold me right there shade up and everything i just hey rob with a hell of a pass 15 yards behind the line of it was it was a crazy pass too under pressure so for me yeah that's that's tough man that's like when you back that guy up, he's that far off, you're shaded up, you don't really expect that. I don't think he bumped into people that bad, so now we're losing. Tough, tough scene, right? I think we played really well. That's a big play we gave up. Bad punt, big play. Let's try to keep the ball moving on the ground. Oh, Would love God. a broken tackle every once in a while. Nice run right here, good stick, good stiff arm. Get a first. Here he goes blitzing. See, I'm a little wary to run... What's him call it to run inside zone against this look here? As he does a great job, just two man rush here. We have all day. I should have stayed in the pocket, but I scramble out, get to a fourth and one. I'm gonna put my running on aggressive here and put Derrick Henry in the game. Now this is always scary. It always is. I believe I have mixed. I'm gonna double team the D tackle here. Please don't shoot the gap. Please almost got me. I swear I hate running on fourth down because you're so it's so lucky. It's so please game don't cheat me or please game block a little bit. You don't really have control. Second and ten here. I said we're still gonna try to run because you know it's a way to get easy yards. Here we go over to Parham. Good catch. Come back to the ball. First down. Let's keep mixing in the run as best we can. That's what I want to do. We're gonna double team the D tackle. Good job, Derrick Henry gets no, brought down by the first person. person right now. We get one yard, second and nine here. Uh, a little dump off, nothing really, man. We get to a third and long, and this is one of the plays of the game. I have thread the threat detector. Kiv knows I have thread the uh, threat detector, so I know who's blitzing. So he's in cover three, right? Third and nine. And then, look, so I know he's not really bringing too much pressure. Maybe that one guy. So I'm going to start drawing up a deep play. I'm motioning out. As soon as I do that, now he's blitzing everybody. Or he's blitzing both sides. So I'm like, shit. Like, all right. So what I'm going to do is I like this play. But I'm not, I don't always run this play, right? I normally have X or B on slants. I know there's going to get pressure. I'm blocking nobody. So for me, and I snap, and I want to throw my slant here. And I'm used to my slant being X. And we hit an old 35-year-old boomer wrong button hitting X. Because I wanted to just dump it off right there to the slant. Maybe get tackled, but maybe get to a fourth and four, fourth and two. Maybe get a first down. But I hit X because I'm used to my slant being X every time the outside receiver, not the inside receiver. Oh, that's the wrong button, bro. X is... Oh, my God. And, w you know... Salesman, dude. Oh, we throw a pick six. Oh, my God. So... It's free first, too. It's why. It's just, oh. So, that's what I mean. So, he kind of blitzed more players in the middle of the play, and... I just want to dump this ball off right here to Y. All I want to do. His user's on the right side of the field. Hit Y. I mean, like I said, he might tackle me. I might not get the first, but I want to get rid of the ball right there to Y. But wrong button. Wrong button. Old boomer. We give up a pick six. So a game we played great. We were winning by, it was what, 10 to 3. It was 10 to 6. We had the ball. And now we're losing 20 to 10 oh pretty much God. in the fourth quarter here. No but see it. No one that I see. we've been down before. 
I have done more with less. Let's dial it in. He's glowing. It's time. It's time to make a little comeback here. As we whoa, right there, almost made. That's what I wanted on the last play. Fourth quarter. Put your fours up. God, Missed three on a red zone pick. We throw a pick six. So we're we're kind of that's ten points on picks right there. So. Playing against one of the best players ever, we're definitely in a, a hole right now. Was hit the corner route to Randy Moss. Hopefully get out of bounds. And we do somehow. So that's gonna stop the clock here. Next play, we dot to Jefferson, nice. man. Beautiful play right here. Uh he started playing a little bit more coverage. We just go with a cover three beater here. He's got man on Moss and Parham, and it's just cover three. You see it. And just a beautiful throw by A-Rod. Catch by hey, Justin guys. Jefferson. Touchdown. So that's what we need to get back in the game. Only 10 seconds into the fourth quarter. So we're up by three. Our defense, I love it. Just got to just, you know, make some plays, make some tackles. Hopefully get a turnover somehow. As we're going to go here with just straight man. He's mo now motion. Now I put a purple zone, I think, to try to guard that crossing route, that slant a little bit. And... Gotta go with the yellow zone. I learned that on that play. So a little bit of labbing during the game. Sometimes purple zones hang to the middle a little bit. I thought it would help me a little bit more. You see right there, I got a, I got a hook curl now. That'll help me a little bit more. A per exactly. See, now this play just drives me nuts, man. Because I, I told you earlier, he's looking to run that streak to go to the C route. Look where my user goes. I know exactly what he wants to go with. I go get the C route. Take that away. We have a three-man rush. Now, play breaks down. This guy on the left, I, I kind of fear that he's going to playmaker him up. But, you know, I just forget that he's manned up. So, he'll be all right. Nobody sheds, and he gets this dot over here. I mean, dude, we could have got some <clears> pressure there. Now, Come on, nobody man. shed because I was still so in two long? contains. I was in two contains and one rusher. So, they're not going to shed as much. So he's in field goal range. The time's a factor now. We got three minutes left in the game. We got to bow our neck. We got to stop him here. He audibles the tight. I'm, like I said, I've done every time he's done this, I've just covered three. To, he might run base here. A little bit of motion. I'm going to base the line. Yep, a little bit of base. Make a tackle. Honestly, that's a little bit too much, man. He just got seven yards. So second and three. This play will probably go to the two-minute warning. Not going to use my timeouts yet. He's in goal line. We're definitely going to try to shoot this. We're going to try to stop this. I mean, you could see now against a lesser player, you could go off sides and they would take the first down, right? And they would and it would save you some time. But Kiv would have declined it, so I'm not even going to try that. Fullback dive, all stop bounces off. We hold him though. I'm going to call a timeout. I'm losing this game right now. I have to make this the longest 2 minutes and 27 seconds possible to get back in this game. So I call a timeout there. Stop it from going to the 2-minute warning. Bunch. Uh, you said I just said quick pass the run back. I have to stop that. We got knockouts on a tight end and the running back. We got inside shade on Moss. He does not have his outside apprentice on a soul side. He's going to motion out here. I th and I just put a flat. I have the tight end on this play. Tight end is mine. He goes, he goes to the whip route. Beautiful coverage here. He throws the ball up, but gets an overthrow. Sneed did a great job there. Fourth and two. I'm praying that he kicks. He kicks. Gives us life. Uh, probably the right call. Right where we wanted with the ball. Dial it in. Money drive for the final 16 on Xbox. This is exactly what we want. You know, you're playing one of the best. One of the best games of the year. You've made some mistakes, but you've been sharp as attack other than those mistakes. But, and you know, they definitely hurt you. Can you overcome? Now, second and or two minutes and 18 seconds left. I'm going to run the ball here. Uh, you start milking early in the drive, really. That's kind of the goal. Like, just start milking now. Let's get to the two-minute warning. Boom. Great that he got a first down. So... 36 yard line what do we got to get 50 we got to get 64 yards two timeouts two minute warning i have definitely done more with less uh against better players well maybe not better players you know we're talking about a top 10 player of all time right here in kiv so gotta put it together right here uh we're gonna go motion out we're gonna try to hit this corner route to randy moss right here we're gonna put a little in route underneath 
That's our check down is the in route underneath. We'll see what we can get. He rushes five. Beautiful pass protection. We step up. Dot to Randy Moss inside his territory. Down to the 38-yard line. This is where time... Time is... Uh, I don't want to flirt with milking myself. I don't. You know, I need to score. I can't worry about the time, man. If I don't score a touchdown, I don't win. So, uh, you can't overthink this situation. It's not Madden 22. It's not impossible to play defense. You know, you don't have to try to milk this perfectly. You have to score. That's what you have to do. Big run by Henry here. I will take seven yards on that every time. So... Now, let's see how this works out. Uh, when is If he's going to start using his timeouts. Um, like I said, it's it's not easy to score. It's not. And he goes to the nickel normal here. Or, or over G, whatever this may be. Parham with a huge catch and actually stays in bounds. And Kip's going to get into those timeouts. So, I don't think we're going to be able to milk this at all. I really don't think we'll be able to do that. So, let's go ahead and... Uh, we got to score. That's what we got to do. So we got to dial it in. 14 yard line here. Now he's in the um, the 3 3. So I, I don't want to say, and you know what, that was, I don't want to say it was a waste of a play. We got a timeout. And I don't want to say the 3 3 is easier to play against, but it's just, I've had so many reps against it. I kind of know what I'm looking for here. Second and 11, I'm not going to run the ball anymore, man. I need to get the ball in the end zone. I need to find somebody. I need to get it done. Uh, Definitely on the right side of the field. I'm looking for Parham in the corner. I am. That's what I want to look at. He's not stupid. He's going to do what I do, put deep blue. So, we're going to run Justin Jefferson on a streak here. And we're going to throw to Parham in the corner. And, I mean, I know you guys saw it. I saw it on this play. He took the man off Justin Jefferson. So, he's taking Justin Jefferson's man and putting him in a deep blue. So, I know I'm going to run the same play. Especially, I see him blitzing now. Same play. You do It's one or the other. You do the same adjustments. Free. Free as a bird. Touchdown. Let's go. Love to see it. We took it. We, I mean, maybe we could have ran the ball one more time, but I wanted to make sure I got an end zone. We take the lead. Huge drive. A couple big passes to Moss and Parham. Big play to Justin Jefferson. Kick our extra point here. Got to nail this, and we do. One point lead. One defense, and I move on to the final eight on Xbox, man. So I, I got to get this done. Our defense has been good i mean it hasn't been great but you guys see my plan is working i like what we're doing gotta worry about that motion out make sure sneed is in the right spot you know and just gotta make a play make one play here now we're not going to change anything cute we're not going to get cute we're going to go with the same thing really let me see first and ten here Andre Reed is on the left. We're going to have to cover three of that. Perfect. Just like I've been doing flips, reset the play. He's going to get on Andre Reed. Motion him out. Now I'm going to re. I'm actually going to do re-man. I didn't back up Sneed, so I'm going to go run it. Now, this is what I did on this play. I, I realize every time he's motion out, he's run bunch trail. He's not running deep corner. He has bunch trail. So he has Parham on that, that little route, that little... Uh, What's it called? That little um, stick and go or, or flatten, you know, the double moving bunch trail. So I put a mid read to lurk the middle of the field just for that route. That way I can dictate my user all the way to the outside. 100% on this play, I am bailing out and covering the corner route. Because I put that yellow zone there. We bail out. We're covering deep. We actually press, which has probably cost me. But I press and right here is where I'm like, okay. I remember early in the game, he caught me on the streak. I cannot give up that streak. I cover the streak, throws it up, and dog. No fucking chance. Oh, there's just no fucking way. Oh, my God. Are you fucking... Oh, wait, spec catch? Are you fucking kidding me? This was tough. I felt... I can't lie. When he let go of this ball, I, I really thought like I almost baited him into this. And that... You know, first of all, Sneed does a great job. I'm right here, dude. I, I can't lie to you. I, I'm thinking we're getting a pick. I really do. Atwater, 6'3", 87 speed. You know, we're there, man. A knockout something. And he just, like, spec catches and just no nobody hits. No fucking chance. It's tough. It's tough. I, I, I really felt like I was there. 
I try to go for a pick, try to go for something. They give me nothing here. I just no, just that was tough. Oh my god, man, that's like such fucking good defense. I really thought it was good defense. I thought he threw me. I thought I was gonna get a pick there. Little bit, maybe he had me by a little bit. You know, he had me by a yard or two. One hell of a throw by A Rod. That's why you got Aaron Rodgers, but we can't let him get any more yards here. As he's gonna milk this down, he's gonna go mount field goal. We're gonna ice him. Does he care about ice? And Kiv kicks the field goal. GG's. So boys, we're done. That was it. That was the last game. I'm sorry we didn't get it done. A couple mistakes cost us. I thought our defense was great. I thought I played a really good game. Uh, that wrong button pick six was tough for sure, but uh, we fought back after that. We took the lead. Um, we got mossed a little bit. That's the name of the game now for the most part. You will get agged, but tough way to go out like that, man. But like I said, Kiv is one of the best players. Every other time I played him in a big game, he done blowed me out. So great performance. I thought I played really well. Uh, tighten up on those couple mistakes, and we win this game going away. We really do. Just the way we were prepared, the way the defense was working. Um, the way we were playing pretty good offense. I mean, outside of two throws, which were, I mean, the Moss one-on-one, -on -one, I'll probably give him that chance again. You know, that's the way, you know, like I got Moss, and I would probably give Moss that chance again 1v1 in the end zone for a touchdown, but that run button one killed me. Uh, that spec catch at the end, that's tough. Tough way to go out when you're playing that well, but we made a hell of a run. We got tons of MCS points. We're looking good. We've got to keep this momentum Keep firing all all cylinders, man. If you guys want any offense, defense, all the ebooks will put out. Those links are below. I appreciate all the love you guys have shown on the, the tournament day on Twitch and on these YouTube videos, man. We have you guys have made it, you know, better than just playing in a tournament. You've made it more exciting. And I, once again, I'm sorry I let you guys down, um, but we showed out. We had a great week. It was fun. That's what it's about, man. That's why I can never stop competing. That's why we can't sell coins or anything like that because that. Those games, those dialed-in games, those moments are just too much fun. The preparation is just too much fun. It's what I live for. It's what I love. So, I said, please like the video. Please keep it going. I want to pump all these Madden videos out. We've been putting out two out of two videos, two gameplays a day for like two weeks straight, boys. I really want to be a YouTuber. I really want to get this site popping for me. So, I appreciate all your effort, you guys, man. And until the next tournament, we're going to keep grinding some some head-to-head. -head. We're going to keep grinding content for you guys. So, once again, thank you. The end of our ultimate kickoff tournament, but it was a good ride.